Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm a full-time reseller. Today I have another Goodwill bins haul for you guys. So yesterday I went to the Goodwill outlet, which is also known as the Goodwill bins. It's where all of the overflow clothing, some raw donations go there, but a lot of the stuff that ends up at the Goodwill outlet are items that did not sell at the regular Goodwill stores. Some items aren't, like I said, some items just come directly in as donations. You know, Goodwill and other thrift stores have so much clothing that they get donated every year that they can't even keep up with it. That's why some of these items didn't even end up in their stores because they had so much. So the Goodwill outlet is where it's filled with bins. You literally dig through these bins for hours and hours I'm usually there for like three hours at a time when I go and you pay by the pound instead of by the item so at my location it's a dollar and 89 cents per pound for everything that includes shoes normally heavier items like the home goods the hard goods they weigh separately and they give you a discount on that the employees at my location are really nice and they're always giving us discounts and percentages off and stuff like that so it's really awesome but that is the main place that i go sourcing for my online stores on ebay poshmark mercari and depop so today I'm going to be going over about half the items that I got yesterday, which is about 30 items. I only paid $1.44 per item. All of these items I just got done photographing. So some of these items will be listed by the time this video goes live and some of these items won't be listed yet, but they will be listed throughout this week that we're currently in. So if you're ever interested in anything, my stores are always linked down below. So let's just jump right into the haul. So I have a couple like accessory pieces, miscellaneous pieces that I'll show you guys first. The first thing is this bucket hat. It's a denim bucket hat. Total Y2K vibes. Oh my goodness. The brand is Nine West. This is definitely a vintage older piece. This I'll be listing right around $15. This next piece I actually got for myself, but I just wanted to show you guys. I just freaking love it. Like I'm obsessed with cardigans. I have way too many, but I don't have any like this. This is just by the brand Susquehanna Trail Outfitters. I think this is kind of a local thing to me, but I love this color blocking on this cardigan. You can button it up. I tried it on. It's oversized, super comfy. There's white on the front cream on the back more beige on the sleeves and then the trim is a blue so I just love this and like I said I have nothing like it in my closet so that's mine this piece is a baby piece I did get a few pieces this round but this is one piece that I'm going to be putting to the side if you guys don't know when I go to the Goodwill outlet I know I say this all the time so if you watch my videos continuously and you're getting annoyed of me saying this I'm so sorry but when I go to the Goodwill outlet I tend to find just like one or two pieces of vintage baby clothes sometimes I'll find a lot at one time but usually I don't so what I do is because when I sell vintage baby clothes I normally don't sell like modern baby clothes or modern kids clothes but when I sell them I will lot them up so I want several pieces of the same size so this is a size six to nine month if I remember correctly yes so I will put this to the side when I get a couple more pieces that are boys or like a boy's six to nine months, I will lock them up with this and sell them all together. But I just thought this was so adorable. I can't remember if Cassie gave this to me or not. My friend Cassie was there with me. But so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and I will be putting that to the side with my other kids stuff. And then this is one of the last pieces that I found on the way out. This is a picture frame. It's kind of this folk art. I thought this was so adorable. It's actually a terracotta like clay. You could put the picture in the top there and it like sits on a shelf or a desk or something like that. But I just thought that was so cute. Easy to list, easy to photograph. This I'll be listing around $15. I did look those up. They're selling right at that $15 mark. And then this next thing is actually a personal piece. It is this. I just thought this was so adorable. Total like boho vibes. And then when I got a home, okay, so I have to cut this off. I think there was maybe a price tag on there at some point. But when I got this home, my boyfriend was like, you know what that is, right? And I'm like, no. And he said, it's a rug beater. People, I mean, I'm sure me, many of you guys know this. I had no idea, but apparently you take this and you beat your rug with it to get like the dust out of it. Like you take it outside and you beat your 
rug with it. I'm like, okay, I plan on hanging it on the wall, probably back here with my other things that we will see though. I'm unsure of if I want to hang this back here or not. What do you guys think? I feel like that's like too much. I don't know, but I will find somewhere in my house to hang that. If I did hang it, um, up like this, you wouldn't really be able to see it in my videos. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet, but I'm definitely going to put that somewhere and yeah. And then this last thing is also a personal item, this last non-clothing item. I originally picked this up and was like, oh my God, this is so cute. Then I realized one of the zippers is broken. So it has two zippers. Okay. Just look at this. It's a duffel bag. I love this pattern. Totally hippie vibes. I just love this, but I realized, like I said, one of the zippers is broken. So on the top, it has two zipper closures. One is broken. One is not one still works. And then it also has another flaw where it has these toggle buttons. You can close it at the top as well with the toggle buttons and the zipper. And one of the loops for the toggles is broken, but otherwise this is in really good condition. I'm pretty sure I could throw this in the washing machine because it's all fabric and I'm going to give this to my boyfriend and he did not see this yesterday when I got home. I kind of hid it from him. I'm going to keep it a surprise, but I wanted to show you guys in this haul and I'm going to give it to him tonight and I think he's going to really love this. And he doesn't really have any sort of duffel bag or luggage or anything like that for when we go on trips. He normally just uses his backpack. So... Now he'll have something to use. So moving on, this is a Free People We The Free thermal top. These thermal tops by We The Free or Free People are just staple bread and butter sellers for me. This is a size small. This one I believe is the Laguna thermal top. If you didn't know, Free People on their tags, they have a style number. It always starts with OB. So if you look at the back of their tag, it'll say like OB something, something, something like that. I typed that right into Google so I could figure out exactly what the name of this exact piece was. And like I said, it's the Laguna piece. This I will be listing right around $28. I listed around that higher dollar mark just because I'm constantly sending offers to buyers. I have best offer on on eBay and also on eBay, I've been continuously running a sale of some sort. So right now I have a 30% off sale going to kind of bring some traction to my store because I don't know about you guys, but eBay, and Poshmark, really, all of my stores have been so dead this past week, which is normal. It's January. January is always slow for me, but it's been so dead. So having that sale helps a little bit. So that's why I kind of mark things up to that higher dollar end. But this next piece is a vintage polo by Ralph Lauren. I believe this is like a men's size large. There is no size tag on it. 100% wool cable knit sweater, super chunky, did not shrink. Nobody has shrunk this. Doesn't have that like crunchy sound when you stretch it. This piece I will be listing right around $45 if I remember correctly. Vintage Ralph Lauren pieces, especially more substantial like chunky knit sweaters can do really well and can bring great money. This next piece is actually, again, a vintage polo by Ralph Lauren piece. I found these close together yesterday. This is a men's wool blend pair of trousers. They are pleated. They kind of had that plaid print there and they have cuffs at the bottom. These I'll be listing right around $35 if I remember correctly, between that $35 and $40 mark. This next piece this is the first time I ever found this brand, but the tag just kind of like looked nice to me. So that's why I looked it up. This is by the normal brand, men's size medium. Now a certain piece by this brand, it's like a shacket, a flannel lined button up shacket is reselling for like 70 to $80, which is wild to me. Their normal flannel shirts, which is what I have, is reselling right around that 20 to $25 mark. So I'll be listing mine right around $25. This piece I did list separately. This is a vintage baby piece, Winnie the Pooh, all over print. It's like a Winnie the Pooh baseball print with Tigger. So freaking adorable, 12 months. And that'll be listing at $15. And here's another We The Free piece. This is a different tag. 
and this is a size extra small I forget exactly which this one is called but again I'll be listing that right around $28 just like the last one this piece again vintage if you guys have ever watched my videos you know I love vintage pieces but this is by Kim Rogers petite large this is an embroidered denim jacket not really a jacket kind of a shirt between a shirt and a jacket you know what I mean it does have pockets on the sides which I really liked but it has this embroidered paisley and floral print and then on the back right there there is a little bit of discoloration at the neckline right here that tends to happen just from age you know what I mean so I definitely am going to note that but that I would be listing right around $25 this next piece again a super vintage Eddie Bauer men's size extra large 100% Shetland wool sweater Shetland wool can do really well and brings value to pieces but this is this like emerald green color which I really liked this I'll be listing around $35. This piece is probably one of my favorite pieces of the day. Again, vintage, but it kind of gives me that free people vibe. Just look at it. You might know what I mean when you see it, but the accent cuffs and the accent hemline there, I just love it. So it has this embroidery and this beading here along both cuffs and at the bottom. Just look at this. I mean, I just freaking love this so much. I'm trying to show you guys. It's kind of hard to hold up. But this beading at the bottom is just gorgeous. So I found one other piece exactly like this listed. They had it listed at $50 on eBay. So I'm going to be listing mine right around $45. This is by the brand Liz Wear, which is Liz, Liz Claiborne. I don't think I said that. Size small, definitely oversized. But again, it gives me that free people vibe for sure this next piece i actually got for myself but they're a little big so i'm just going to resell them this is by the brand fabletics size extra large this piece is actually still on the website this is a thermal waffle knit pair of leggings and these i'll be listing right around 25 dollars. this is a made well piece i don't really find this brand very often although i found a different piece that's made well that will be in the next video funny enough but i don't find this brand very often but this is a linen blend pair of tapered stretchy elastic waist pants these are a great size a size extra large tall which I believe is going to help it. So these I'm going to be listing right around 30, I believe like 30 or $32. Now you guys, I know I said this in a recent video, but I personally am starting to pick up more linen pieces. I always pick up linen, but I'm really trying to find more linen pieces, more summer and spring pieces because we are almost in February, actually in two days is February, which is mind blowing. And which means then next month after that is March, which in my opinion is like spring and which means summer is coming. So us as resellers need to be prepared. We need to prepare way sooner than the season. You know what I mean? So pretty soon here, I'm going to be done picking up heavy coats and heavy sweaters. I mean, anything unique, I will pick up pretty much all the time all seasons, no matter what season it is currently. But I'm really not going to be focusing on those jackets and coats here coming up soon. I'm really going to be focusing on those springy summertime pieces. This next piece is a great filler piece for my closet. Zara Basic, size extra small. Maybe I should have left it behind because it's such a small piece, but it is this tweed shirt and then it has these pearls this pearl trim at the neckline. I did find a stock photo for this, which definitely helps. That I'll be listing right at $22. This piece is a Land's End vintage piece. It actually says Land's End student on it, which I thought was interesting. And actually, when I looked it up, I knew to look up a rugby piece, but I'm pretty sure they're playing rugby right there, which is funny. But this is a polo in my title as well. I put up, I put rugby polo in there. And this just gives that total Y2K 90s vibe, great size being an extra large. 
And that I'll be listing right at $25 as well. And then here's another total Y2K piece. Look at this. This is by the brand US Polo Association, which I never pick up, rarely ever. You know what's funny though? My son, my two-year-old son has pants almost identical to this by this brand. So funny. But this is that total Y2K baggy skater vibes. These are a carpenter style, which helps it. Total baggy. These are size 42 by 32, which also helps it. A great size. And these pieces have sold multiple times over the past 90 days for between 30 five and 45 dollars so this i would be listing right at i believe 45 or 42 dollars i think that's what i listed it at 42. this is probably one of my favorite pieces of the day just because it was overlooked i know it was so many people overlook blazers and suit jackets sport coats but first of all this looks like a total military style it's that olive green has these pockets which i really liked and then when i looked on the inside so up top here it just says made in indonesia it's like okay let's see you know what the inside tag looks like and then i went to look at the inside tag and you guys this is a new with tags banana republic blazer i love selling blazers even if this wasn't new with tags i may have picked it up but the fact that it's new with tags obviously helps it this is the men's heritage blazer this is also a linen blend which is a great size 44 regular new with tags this retailed for 130 dollars originally now this is from 2013 if i remember correctly so an older piece for sure so nowadays this will probably retail for like $200 but blazers can sell really well the fact is that this is a linen blend this olive green color new with tags definitely all going to help me out and so yeah when I did comps on these blazers new with tag by banana republic a linen blend the heritage fit are all selling between that 70 and 100 dollar mark so i'm actually going to be listing mine right at like 85 dollars. so i'm really excited to see how that goes and how quickly that sells this piece again one of my favorite pieces but i could not find much information on it at all like i could not find this brand on ebay online anywhere i believe this is a vintage piece this is what the tag looks like. It says view size 14. It is this faux fur long jacket. I just adore this. Has two buttons in the front there, pink lining. This was made in the USA. And then on the tag, it actually says www.viewcollection.com. I did look that up just because I was curious. That's no longer an actual website. Like the domain name is actually for sale right now for like $2,500, which I thought was funny. But again, when I typed in view faux fur jackets on eBay and Google, nothing came up. So I even typed in like the view or view brand nothing came up there is no rn number on this piece either so i'm kind of just going in blindly with this but i just adore this piece and so yeah i'm gonna be listing this maybe lowballing myself but i'm scared to price it too high just because you know like i said i don't have much information on the brand it is faux fur but i'm gonna be listing mine right around 50 dollars. so we will see how that goes this piece is by Astra the Label, size medium. This is a faux suede wrap skirt, midi length. Now there is a small flaw. It is missing the button right in here. So there's a button that holds this one part to here. It is missing. I'm gonna note that in my listing, of course. You tie it at the side and there's also a snap closure here, which I really liked which really ensures that this does not fall off when you're wearing it. But this piece, I looked up, a few of these have sold, a few of these are listed, although I could not find any in this chocolate brown color. So that should definitely help me. I'm gonna be listing mine right around $28. This piece, again, another embroidered denim jacket. This is by the brand Chico's, an older tag, size one, which equates to a US size medium. This again is embroidered. I love anything embroidered. I mean, look at this. Super artsy, super boho, kind of that blazer type structure, but it's a denim jacket. And that I'll be listing right around $28. 
this piece somebody had actually put behind maybe it was too worn for them i personally think it's in great condition there are a few marks but i just love this piece this is a vintage 100 percent leather bomber jacket but the inside lining is just so pretty it's so gorgeous it has like this matte print on it and yeah i love this color the brand is urban equipment which i did look up this brand again these are selling between 50 and 70 dollars so i don't know why somebody put this back that's what the tag looks like definitely older this is a size medium and it was made in uruguay uruguay i'm not sure how to say that or if i'm saying that correctly but like i said it does have a few marks on it like right here has some marks on the leather there on the back there is kind of a line you know all things from age but i think that all of those marks give this character for sure so i'm going to be listing mine right around 60 to 70 dollars i can't remember off the top of my head but i just love this piece and there were not many i think there was one piece exactly like this one that i saw listed by this brand this next piece it pleasantly surprised me so at first i just saw this tag and i actually just kind of threw the piece at first and i'm like no like puma you know i don't pick up puma puma doesn't resell for a lot of money but i also saw this tag and after i threw it i'm like wait a minute what is that is that a ferrari symbol it sure is this is a ferrari and puma hoodie or not hoodie full zip full zip like track jacket has embroidery right there and then it also has an embroidered puma right there on this sleeve it has that on it and then on the back it has the ferrari logo so when i looked up puma ferrari full zip track jackets they are selling between 40 and 50 dollars pre-owned which was just mind-blowing to me because like i said you guys puma as a brand does not resell for a lot of money if this was just a plain puma jacket and did not say ferrari on it i could sell it for maybe five dollars in like four years <laughs> you know what i mean so the fact that these pieces can resell for so much is just mind-blowing to me but i will be listing mine if i remember correctly at 45 dollars. this next piece again an older piece this is kristen blake apres i'm not sure but this is an older piece for sure size large it's like this teddy coat I actually kind of thought about keeping this for myself, but I really don't need any more jackets. Has these pockets. I loved the buttons on these as well. So yeah, this piece I actually saw sold a couple times in a couple different colors. I will be listing mine right around $28. This piece is a vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren chunky knit cable knit sweater turtleneck this bubblegum pink color which is so popular and there's actually no brand tag or size tag in the top but when i first picked this up in the bin honestly i thought it was lauren ralph lauren i hoped it was lauren ralph lauren it just gave me that vibe and i sell that brand all the time so i'm kind of getting a feel of what pieces they sell and what kinds of things they sell but when i looked at the inside tag has a care tag in here on this green tag which if you guys know anything about lauren ralph lauren that is exactly what their care tag looks like so i knew that i wanted to pick this up when i got home and did a comp i again double checked to make sure that i was correct and i was i saw somebody else have this exact piece listed i think for 40 dollars i'm gonna be listing mine right around 35 dollars i believe this is like a size medium and of course i include measurements in all of my listings these next two pieces are kids pieces that i will be listing by themselves like i said earlier most of the time with kids and baby pieces i like to lot them up with multiple pieces in the same size but depending on what they are i sometimes sell pieces by themselves like this this is a vintage again winnie the pooh embroidered overalls these are so freaking cute so the bottoms can either be worn like this or they can be cuffed up here there is a little bit of wear on these cuffs but yeah it has poo piglets these flowers this is a size newborn zero to three months that or this i will be listing right around 15 dollars. i love listing and selling kids pieces they're so easy to photograph and list and this piece again is a kids piece i did not look this up in the store maybe i should have these aren't going for as much as i had hoped but this is jelly the pug 
never heard of this before size 2t but look at this you guys i felt this was something first of all just the feeling of it it feels high quality it feels like this was made really nice it is this sleeveless kind of layered christmas tree dress now originally i think this came with a shirt because when i looked this up when i got home all the listing had a shirt with it so that's unfortunate because mine did not it may have been in the bin I didn't notice it, but I also didn't know to look for a shirt. You know what I mean? But this by itself, I'm going to be listing right around $15. And we only have a couple pieces left. So this piece, again, I probably should have left behind. But I'm not even going to try to read this. But this is apparently from The Handmaid's Tale. I did look this up at the Goodwill Bins. I saw that a couple people had this listed brand new for $50. So I went ahead and swiped it. Probably should have left it behind though, like I said, because there's a couple paint marks on the front there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and still list this. This is a size extra large. I'll probably list that right around $22. And then this is the last piece, again, you guys, with the linen piece, Banana Republic. Pretty much the only reason I picked this up is because it's linen. If this was not linen, I would have left this behind. But this is a men's untucked fit, size large, 100% linen striped button down shirt perfect again for the spring and the summertime coming up so this piece i'll be listing right around 24 dollars. so yeah you guys that is everything that i have to show you today like i said my next video is going to be the rest of the items from this day and that will be coming out on friday of this week so if you made it this far definitely let me know by dropping a purple heart down below i really appreciate you guys so so much but i hope you guys are having a great week so far i hope you're staying warm it definitely has gotten colder out there this week like over the weekend it was warmer here in pennsylvania we had like two warmer days close to 60 degrees which is just mind-blowing but come monday which was yesterday went right back to like 30 degrees <laughs> really cold so i hope you guys are staying warm out there wherever you are and i hope you guys are having a great day and i hope to see you in my next video